expected this day to be, orientation on video. But the reality is, even though COVID has upended our world, it's made some things more clear for me. It's made clear that we have a faculty and staff who are singularly focused on your success. It's made clear that we have a community that is welcoming and cares about our students. And it's made clear that we are willing to take on the hard questions related to equity, diversity, and inclusion that face our society today. I'm convinced that your time at Fort Lewis here will be a success and that you will change us in real ways and will learn from you. There's not an institution on the planet that cares more about students than we do, and we are thankful that you're joining us at this time. I'll be teaching a first year experience course, so I'll get to know some of your colleagues. But for the rest of you, please stop me, email me at president at fortlewis.edu and tell me what's on your mind. We're here for you, and we'll get through this together. Go Skyhawks! Fort Lewis and welcome to the awesome classes that you're going to be taking with us this fall. Hopefully you'll feel that you'll have time where you'll get to do hands-on, uh, experiential, active learning because that's one of the things we really, really pride ourselves in. That we want you to feel that knowledge is something you're being welcomed into as an active, engaged thinker. One of the things we really emphasize is creating active problem solvers. We want you to feel as though your education is going to be put to use, that it is going to be something that you can translate out of the classroom into the real world and make something of it. Now when you think again of this larger context that we're in with the virus, that's a, these are the types of qualities that we need now. We need people who are willing to form a caring community and we need people who are willing to be active problem solvers. But you should also feel that you're in a very safe space with lots of other people committed to mentoring you and helping you work through that. One thing we're really excited about this fall is that we're opening a new academic hub. It'll be located in the library, which is front and center, right in the middle, in the heart of our campus. And that's the place you'll go for all the academic support you'll need. A fantastic element of the Academic Hub is our peer education program. We have peer educators, meaning your fellow students, serve as tutors. They are there to help mentor you as you work your way into Fort Lewis, and they're there to offer all the support you need. We hope that you'll find that space to be very dynamic and filled with all sorts of people looking to reach out to you and support you as you find your, your home here at Fort Lewis. We're looking forward to a fantastic fall, a fantastic academic year together. We can't wait to welcome you into the Skyhawk family. Hey Skyhawks, my name is Carson Ingram and I'm the student body president this year. And I'm here to talk to you about the One Word Project. Now what is the One Word Project? Well, it's all about one word. The one word you'd use to describe yourself if you couldn't use your name. Whether that be a word that means something to you or is a part of your personality that really shines, it's all up to you. Now we put together a video that we want you to check out.
Ghosts, what y'all think? Pretty cool, huh? My one word is reflective. I like to look back on my life and the things that have happened to me that have shaped me into the person I am today. Looking at back at my first year, I definitely struggled and I had to push through some problems that have made me into the person I am today. I had to learn, I had to grow, but here I am four years later. Now I wanna challenge you Skyhawks. On your first day of class, I want you to look over to your neighbor and ask them what their one word is. Get them to think a little bit. And in turn, you think about it as well. Now, this won't break out the awkward silence is gonna happen anyway, but it'll help mix things up a little bit and give a little change of pace. Well, that's all I got for you. Now I hope you have a great orientation and a great school year. See ya Skyhawks. How's that? It was great. Are you still rolling? Hi everybody, my name is Ali G. I'm going into my last year here at Fort Lewis as a public health major. I just wanted to take the time to welcome you all to campus. My role as the Hajoni Ambassador includes being a representative of Wambliota, the Hajoni Ambassador Committee, the Native American Center, and being one of the representatives of the Native students on campus. My first year at Fort Lewis, I was homesick and scared to be here. But after a while, I found my community here, and I hope that you do as well. As you arrive on campus for the first time, you'll notice that it's not what you expected from your first year of college. But that's okay, because you can still find your flock here at Fort Lewis. All you have to do is be open to the experience, and I can't wait to meet all of you in the fall. Um, hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Newman. I'm an assistant professor of public health at Fort Lewis College. Some of the ways that Fort Lewis College is mitigating the COVID-19 outbreak is we are holding many of our classes outside in lovely southwestern Colorado. As a former park ranger and now public health professor, I'm particularly excited to use our outdoor learning spaces. I know from research and from the literature that it actually enhances learning to be outside. It lowers blood pressure and it makes you able to pay a bit more attention. Check your schedule as we have many new outdoor learning spaces, including the Peace Park, the amphitheater, and many outdoor tents all around campus. Hello Skyhawks, welcome to day one. I hope you are as excited to be here as much as the rest of the campus is. The orientation team is so glad that you're joining us today for a day filled with fun and learning. Each of you will meet your orientation leaders who will be happy to assist you with any questions you still might have. Talk to your OLs, they're wonderful leaders on campus. They're involved, high achieving students and engaged inside and outside of the classroom. They can share with you what it truly means to be a Skyhawk. Like your student body president, Carson, challenge you to ask your neighbor about their one word, I have a challenge for you too. The orientation team is all about helping you find your flock. We know it's important for people to feel connected and feel like they belong here at FLC. In your orientation bag, you may have noticed a playing card. Each new student was given a playing card with a conversation starter question written on it. These questions were written with the intention to help you make meaningful connections versus just small talk. So my challenge to you is to bring your card with you everywhere you go around campus. And if you're in a situation where you can reach out and ask someone a question, please do. Also, if you see enough people on campus and ask enough questions, you may find someone with the exact same card as you. They're out there, I promise. Good luck Skyhawks and welcome. It's gonna be a great year. So go find your flock and fly.